NFL Hall of Famer Rod Woodson and his nonprofit organization Hope Through Football have been running football clinics here in Fort Wayne most of this week. Within the next year, HTF is scheduled to host clinics in Florida, Ohio, Michigan, and even France. But this week, Woodson is back at his own alma mater, Snyder High School. Zimbo, the AD here and at Snyder, has been awesome. Coach Tipman has been awesome, opened up the doors to our foundation to, to use all their facilities and, and equipment. So, you know, much blessings to them. Um, but, you know, coming back here and seeing the sign, seeing the black and gold, I mean, that's what I started in. Uh, coming back here, having the kids come to my old high school has, has always been fun. Um, you know, I, I just feel obligated to give back. And, you know, to me, it's a small part of what I can do. Woodson founded Hope Through Football over three years ago. They started doing camps last year. It means helping our youth practice excellence through football. Uh, fo football is a platform that, you know, I was very blessed to play here in, in uh, Fort Wayne for Powell, for Blackhawk, for Snyder. I got to play 17 years in the National Football League. It was a platform that gave me everything. And, you know, we're back here to obviously be on the football field, but we're really teaching the kids to really believe in who they are um, as they on the field, but also as they're on the classroom, as their sons and daughters, and brothers and sisters and friends in the neighborhood. HTF hosted clinics for youth athletes on Tuesday and Wednesday. They held a high school clinic today and will have another one tomorrow. As you might expect, the youth and high school athletes follow different formats from each other. High school kids were uh, a little bit more structured in the sense that, you know, we do our combines, which we don't do for the youth. Um, then we come back out. In the afternoon, uh, we have lunch for them. In the afternoon, we'll come back out, do install a period. Then we do individual. Then we do one-on-ones and do seven-on-sevens. Where the youth, we do individual periods in the morning, and then we just play games in the afternoon. Woodson is well known for his NFL career. He went to the Pro Bowl 11 times and spent 10 of his 17 years in the league with the Pittsburgh Steelers, but won a Super Bowl with the 2000 Baltimore Ravens. He's also served as an assistant coach for the Bengals, Broncos, and Raiders. The opportunities football has given him have motivated him to give back to the game. It's given me everything. My whole life, I've worked in the sport of football in some capacity. Um, everything I have in my life is from that, from football. And that's why I feel that I'm obligated to give back to the younger generation, especially here in my hometown. Uh, I know there's a next generation of pro athletes here somewhere. Uh, and hopefully we can plant a seed of how to do things the right way. And in a couple years, and maybe in 10 years, we'll see some more guys come going into the NFL like Jesse Bates and, and Ben Cerrone. One of the goals of Hope Through Football is to encourage young athletes to believe in themselves. The biggest thing that we want them to take is the back of their shirts. You're going to see some, not on the high schools, but on the young kids that says, I, I can, I will. Uh, we want them to believe in who they see in the mirror. We want them to, to be brother, better brothers, better friends, better teammates, better sons, better daughters. And if they can do that, we'll have a better community. This is Thad Goff for Summit City Sports. For more information on Hope Through Football, you can visit them on the web at hopethroughfootball.org.